its gut-wrenching and extended nightmare. That's how the mother of Tyree Sampson describes the loss of her 14-year-old son. Sampson fell from the drop tower ride at Orlando's Icon Park last month. His family has filed a wrongful death lawsuit. And yesterday and then tonight, his mom is talking about the tragedy for the first time. Fox 13's Josh Cassie was in our newsroom tonight. So tell us, Josh, what else she had to say. Well, Kelly, look, she is still in shock and heartbroken over the loss of her son. She described the pain of hearing the news over the phone and feeling helpless in that moment, knowing there was nothing she could do for her son. Tonight, she wants to make sure no one else ever has that same experience. In terms of what it says, I'll see you Saturday or either Sunday. And that was my last time speaking to my son. Nakia Dodd fought to keep her composure, speaking for the first time since the death of her son, 14-year-old Tyree Sampson, last month. Tyree, or Big Ticket, as he was known in football circles, died tragically after falling from the drop tower ride at Orlando's Icon Park. He was a very well-respected kid, humble one of the most humble shots I've known at the age of 14. Monday, his family filed a wrongful death lawsuit in Orange County, alleging negligence on the part of the ride's manufacturer, operator, and Icon Park itself. Last week, a state report found the operator had made adjustments to the ride's harness proximity sensor on two of the seats, allowing for bigger riders and at the same time making it less safe. Tyree also exceeded the ride's weight limit by more than 50 pounds, and it lacked a common backup safety measure found on many other drop towers. Ladies and gentlemen, this tragedy could have absolutely been avoided very simply with one thing. With this $22 seatbelt, if it had been employed as a secondary restraint, Tyree Sampson would not have fallen to his death. I couldn't do anything for my son but cry over the phone. I couldn't touch him. I couldn't hold him. I couldn't hug him. I couldn't do anything. I, I, I don't wish that on any parent. Dodd says through this, she's experienced every emotion possible. Her message to other families is a simple one. I guess my message would be to the families I don't want them to not let their the kids enjoy themselves, but if you do decide to definitely get on rides like that, double check yourself. Now about those seat belts, the family attorney says it only would have cost $660 to install them on the entire ride, a tiny price to pay that would have saved the life of a 14 year old. Yeah, Kelly? It certainly is, Josh. We're thinking about her family, his family tonight. Thank you so much.